Welcome to the Data Cloud video series brought to you by Salesforce. My name's Simon Connock. I'm a Data Cloud instructor here at Salesforce. In this video, we explore special considerations for setting up your Data Cloud org and cover tips for packaging, managing, and troubleshooting your Data Cloud instance. You need to be an admin with proper access to Data Cloud in order to perform these tasks. So let's just dive right in. Data Cloud is built on top of the Salesforce platform, so you can take advantage of core Salesforce org capabilities, like reports, dashboards, flows, authentication, and application S objects. Additionally, it offers the flexibility to utilize APIs and establish integrations with other Salesforce products. It's important to note that Data Cloud stores ingested data in a data lake outside of the core CRM. It does not store that data in the standard Salesforce database. Before you set up Data Cloud, it's helpful to consider your data architecture and data residency requirements. Your options are to provision Data Cloud in an existing Salesforce org or to provision a new separate home org. Provisioning Data Cloud in an existing org makes sense when your company has maybe a single line of business. You have a single Salesforce org, you, know, you only have one anyway, and your primary use cases require out of the box Data Cloud Lightning Web Components, or LWCs, and search capabilities for service agents. When provisioning Data Cloud in an existing org, keep in mind that a single Data Cloud instance can still connect to multiple different Salesforce core orgs if you need to. The data lake will still separately persist and ingest data off core. In other words, not in the Salesforce database. Data Cloud will still require API access to S objects from within this existing org because it replicates data to the data lake. When you migrate org data or perhaps refactor your object model, you may need to re-implement or rework Data Cloud. Deploying a brand new Salesforce org to house Data Cloud makes sense when you're, maybe your company has multiple Salesforce orgs, so you can dedicate one to Data Cloud, or if you have a highly complex enterprise architecture. Your Data Cloud administrators are different from your Salesforce admins, or perhaps your existing data org is highly customized. You just don't want to mess with it. When deploying Data Cloud in a brand new org, keep in mind that you probably need to build custom LWCs in the new org to provide users with Data Cloud data views. Data Cloud can still connect to multiple Salesforce core orgs, but only one Enterprise Edition Marketing Cloud org. Let's review a few best practices for successful packaging, management, and troubleshooting of your Data Cloud instance. Our Data Cloud supports both unmanaged and managed packaging. For managed packages, we recommend you use versioning and push upgrades. Use package versions to upgrade the components in newer package versions without breaking functionality for existing users. Use the push upgrade feature to automatically upgrade to a newer version of the package, ensuring that all of your orgs are on the same or latest version of your package. You should use a package to distribute Data Cloud information to other orgs. Currently, Data Cloud supports the packaging of data streams, data models, and calculated insights. You should also consider using data kits, which help you streamline the package creation and installation process. And when you create a Salesforce package, it automatically includes all of the related metadata or none of it. This approach is a simple way to ensure platform referential integrity is intact. However, this all or nothing approach can introduce a lot of duplicated metadata or cause certain functionalities to fail due to the lack of related metadata. Because of this, there are important reasons why you might consider using data kits for Data Cloud. Firstly, you deploy updates with confidence, minimizing human errors. Then you streamline deployments to deliver a complete solution and help you realize increased business value. Check out our packaging and data kits in Data Cloud module in Trailhead for detailed information on creating, publishing, and installing data kits. Data Cloud is now supported in sandbox environments as an open beta. You can use sandboxes for development, testing, and training in an isolated environment. 
ensuring your production data and applications remain unaffected. For more information, visit the Salesforce help documentation. Diagnose and explore data using Profile Explorer, Data Explorer, and the APIs. With Lightning App Builder, admins can customize and organize their Data Cloud Unified Profile record pages to quickly surface insights most relevant to their teams. Each Unified individual has one page available for customization, and it is viewable by all user groups. Currently, the page customization is org-wide. All the users in the org see the same layout. The Profile Explorer record page within Data Cloud can be customized with App Builder to display records associated with a unified profile. Use Data Explorer within Data Cloud to view and validate the data that exists in your data model objects, your DMOs, your data lake objects, your DLOs, and calculated insights. You use Data Explorer to ensure your data, formula, and other transformations are accurate. You can also use filters to include or exclude records as you see fit. In the CRM org where Data Cloud is provisioned, you can use Data Cloud components on the contact record. The contact record page can be customized with Data Cloud profile engagements, Data Cloud profile insights, and Data Cloud profile related records. Sharing rules are used to extend sharing access to users in public groups, roles, or territories for your Data Cloud objects. The objects currently supported include data streams, calculated insights, segments, activations, and activation targets. Now, sharing rules in Salesforce consist of three main components. Defining the records to be shared based upon ownership or criteria, specifying the user or group by role, territory, or public group to share with, and setting the access level to either read-only or read-write permissions. When you publish a segment, a segment membership DMO is automatically generated. This DMO enables you to verify the accuracy of test data within your creator segment and to gain detailed insights into the makeup of your segment's members. Track the profiles that have joined or left the segment over time and view segment membership details when examining specific profiles. Data Cloud allows you to use various tools and products to analyze your data, including Tableau, CRM analytics, and marketing intelligence. Analytics reports and dashboards are used for data that lives in Data Cloud, including the DLOs, the data lake objects, the DMOs, the data model objects, and calculated insights. Administrator reports and dashboards are built on Data Cloud configuration objects so you can visualize your use of Data Cloud. The following objects are currently supported in Lightning Report Builder. Data Stream, Segment, Activation Target, and Identity Resolution. To create a report on a Data Cloud object, you'll need to configure a custom report type. And once that custom report type is created, it will be available to you in Lightning Report Builder. Lightning reports are created to help you understand your data, such as Data Cloud segments, by their status and their population count, published status, and published schedule. Dashboards can be used to show different components of your Data Cloud data in a single view, including data streams, segments, activation status, and, and much more. Workflow orchestration in Data Cloud allows you to create detailed and interconnected workflows. Using Flow Builder, you can chain Data Cloud processes like data ingestion and segmentation and activation to run in a sequence rather than at preset times. For example, you can chain the processes to refresh insights or run segmentation so they start when the data ingestion is complete. Additionally, you can define workflows to monitor orchestration flow runs or check their progress. Flow Builder allows you to build complex, large-scale automation with automated triggers, reusable building blocks, and pre-built solutions. Data Cloud Actions are used in Salesforce Flow Builder to create automated workflows. This leads to a near real-time execution in a sequence based upon your business needs. Available Flow Actions for Data Cloud include data ingestion for CRM data stream, 
data ingestion for S3 data stream, publish calculated insights, trigger identity resolution jobs, publish segments, materialize segments, and activate. Use Salesforce Flow to interact with data cloud objects to provide important notifications. For example, get the latest status and information on your data cloud usage without viewing the actual reports. Set up notifications that monitor and take action on your data cloud instance. You don't have to view object records to receive the latest updates when you use this capability. The following data cloud objects are currently supported in Flow Builder. Identity resolution, calculated insights, segments, and activations. So now you're familiar with the special considerations for setting your data cloud org and features and tools for packaging, managing, and troubleshooting your data cloud instance, you're ready to get started. Unlock the power of your data and drive meaningful results for your business with data cloud. To learn more, be sure to check out our other videos. You can also search for topics in Salesforce Help or come join us on the trail at trailhead.salesforce.com. Thank you for watching.